Hello, and welcome to a new episode in our series on how to use REST with the Google Ops API. I'm Matteo Tomazone, and I'm a Developer Relations Engineer on the Google Ops API team. And today, we are going to take a look at a tool that we recently released on our dev site. It's called the REST API Explorer. Before we dive in, though, don't forget to subscribe to the channel to always be up to date with what's going on with the Google Ads API, and once you've watched the video, to like it if you found it useful. Also, feel free to ask any questions that you may have in the comments. As we've seen earlier in the series, the REST interface is very helpful to try out a method in the Google Ads API or to debug a request by using specific parameters to see what happens, or to perform any type of ad hoc API request. One of the cool things about the REST interface is that you can use a wide range of tools to perform one-time API requests, such as curl, as we have seen in previous videos of this series. However, there may be times where even a lightweight tool like curl is too much, and you just want to try out a single API request. These are exactly the cases where a tool that we recently released on our dev site comes in handy. We call it the REST API Explorer, but you may be familiar with it as the Try It Out button. Let's see how it works. So first of all, what you want to do is to open the dev site, of course, and to go to the REST interface section from the top menu. In there, you can see that there is a list of all the available REST endpoints in the left menu divided by version. So the first one that we want to try out is a Gackle query, like one of the most basic and common requests that you can make to the Google Ads API. So to do so, what you want to do is to scroll down until you get to the customers.googleads endpoint and click search to open the reference page for the search endpoint. In there, along with all the documentation on how to send requests to the search endpoint, you will see that there is a try it button that is exactly what we're talking about today. So if you click it, a new pane will open in your web page that you can also expand. And from here, we can actually try out how to send a Gekel query to the Google Ads API. So first of all, we need to input our customer ID against which we want to send uh, this Gekel query. So I'm going to input my own. And then I'm also going to input my own dev token. So as for any other Google Ads API request, you will need a developer token. Then we can actually write our own Gekel query. So in this case, we're going to be selecting campaign names from the campaign resource. And then at this point, we have a Gekel query ready and we can try it out by clicking the execute button. Of course, we're going to have to go through the OAuth flow to authenticate with a user. So I'm going to authenticate with my own account. And as you can see, now I have a list of the campaigns that I have in my Google Ads account. The good thing about this is of course, that if I send a wrong query that say for instance contains a field that is not available for a resource, I can try this out too. So say for instance, I can select campaign dot wrong field from campaign and try this request out. Of course, the Google Ads API is going to return an error code and I can see what happens if I try out a query that is not correct. So in this case, what I'm getting is a 400 error with some details on the error that I just had in my Gekel query. Of course, we can also select metrics and segments in our Gekel queries to try out with the REST API Explorer. For instance, I can write select metrics.clicks segments.date from campaign where segments.date equals a specific day and click execute. And the REST API Explorer will help me find out any errors in my query syntax. In this case, I forgot to close the string for the date, as the error message mentions, so I can fix it and retry, and the query will be executed successfully. Now, my test account does not have any clicks for this day, so an empty response is being returned, but if I had any, they would have appeared in the response body here. I can also try out mutate endpoints with the REST API Explorer. Here, for instance, we're on the reference page for the campaign budgets.mutate endpoint, and I can click the try it button just like I did on the previous page. Just like I did previously, I need to fill in my customer ID and my developer token. This time though, I also need to fill in a login customer ID. So I'm going to use the one for my manager account. The cool thing about the REST API Explorer is it also helps me remember the correct format of request bodies. 
So if I click the add request body parameters label here, it will show me the list of available parameters. And I can also click on the plus sign in the request body to help me remember exactly what I need to input. Since we're creating a campaign budget here, we're going to need a name for it, an amount, and a delivery method. Again, since the delivery method field is an enum, the REST API Explorer comes to help by showing us possible enum values. So now, after clicking execute and authenticate it with my own account, I can actually send the API request and the campaign budget is created correctly. Okay, so now you know everything you need to know about the REST API Explorer and how to try out REST endpoints and the REST interface. So the only thing left to do right now is to like the video if you liked it and to subscribe to the channel to always be up to date with what's going on with the Google Ads API. Thanks for watching.